Why is there a truck out here in the middle of the woods? Maybe it's an ancient medieval relic or something. Trucks of the round table. Huh? Uh, uh. huh? <sighs> it looks old. Maybe like dinosaur aged. Like Triassic times. Not like it would still work anyway. <laughs> now here's an awesome car. Not like that old thing. <laughs> Not a human. In my day, we walked uphill to school both ways, and you were lucky if you had shoes. Ah! Dinosaur! I saw a dinosaur! Katie! In the woods! Huh? Dinosaur! A huge dinosaur! That's not how you watch a baby! <laughs> yeah, okay. There's no dinosaurs around. They're extinct. You probably just saw... Uh, an old monster truck in the woods. But a dinosaur? Well, no way. Yes, a truck! But then it turned, whoosh, to a dinosaur. Uh-huh. Trucks turn into dinosaurs all the time. Yes, <laughs> right? <laughs> I first saw this giant truck, then poof, it was a dinosaur. But that's absurd. It, <laughs> ow! Scientists would have discovered that. <laughs> ow! Cut it out, Florian. There just can't be dinosaurs hiding in the forest. <laughs> ow! Grandma, a little help? It's such a beautiful day. Why not take a walk in the woods and bring him? Yeah, I'll show you it's for real. Oh. Well, when will we see it? Probably soon. Keep up. Yep, I'm sure. Hello? Dinosaurs? See, Peter? It's not true. It's just your imagination. I did see it, though. The dinosaur. It was here. <laughs> not even a truck, and no tire tracks. So there, it's not real. Oh no! <gasps> Florian, wait! He's too young to swim. What do we do now? I can't swim either. Me three. Dinosaurs! Listen up, team. Operation Rescue Baby, initiate. Go, go, Turbozars! Aha! It looks deep. It's not enough. Let me give something a try.
think it was just my imagination? <laughs> you all have some explaining to do. Where do we begin? So what brings you kids to the woods alone? You humans might get lost. We won't get lost here. You could say we practically live here, so we know it's safe. I know every rock and tree. We're on summer break. Our grandmother lives nearby. We're staying there. Our parents are working in the city, but they visit us on weekends. We should introduce ourselves. Well, my name is Katie, and these are my brothers, Peter and Florian. <laughs> Do you all have names as well? Of course! First up, Bo! Truly did, you're right. We had a couple million years. But, uh, you're always in the woods or underground. Don't you get bored or lonely? There's a great, big, beautiful world left to see. Yeah, it does get kind of boring every now and then. And lonely. But we have a solution. Bull? In this form, we have more freedom to go where we please. So wonderful! Hang on. You're telling me this whole time, when we're downtown, and we see cars driving around the streets and stuff, it might have been you guys? That's oh, right. right. Mind-blowing! <laughs> Look alive, folks. A human's approaching. Understood. Uh, 
Until next time. <laughs> Mr. Charlie? Hello there, children. Seen any good mushrooms around here? Not here, Mr. Charlie. Have you? Nothing interesting here. We were just on our way home. See you later, Mr. Charlie. Get home safely, you kids. This time last year, this place was teeming with fungi. And now, not a single one. What in tarnation? Some weird graffiti. Peter, what's your homework assignment tonight? Well, I need to make a presentation about dinosaurs. Ha! <laughs> For you, that should be a piece of cake. Yeah, I know. But I don't know where to start. How about a unique spin? You could write about if dinosaurs were alive with us today. Good plan. I could make a video. Great idea. I bet you could shoot it all on your phone. How else would I do it? Hmm, that's kind of weird. Usually everyone's out. It's not like they can all go on vacation. Up there! Hey! Jerry! Ah! Hey, guys! What's new in Human Land? We need some help. Where is everyone? Asleep. Nap time. How come you're not sleeping? No rest for the awesome. Yeah, I should have known. I'm working on a school project. I could use some help from you all. So what do you need us to do? I need you guys to act like real dinosaurs and stuff, and I'll shoot it on video. A movie? So we'd be like famous actors? Kind of, oh, sure. Say no more. We're on it. From us. How can we help your movie? Show me the kind of stuff dinosaurs would do in ancient prehistoric times. Hmm. Get into fights and stuff, and roar! Show what you're made of! I think I'm made of bones and skin, but I don't know how to act like that. Most no, not no, no, ways. It's, not it's, not not ways. Ways. Yeah. it's not like we're asking you to actually go fight each other, but you can probably pretend to, right? Oh, pretending. That sounds like fun, actually. Yes, yes, let's do it. Awesome, thanks. Who's first? Anyone? I'll go. Me and Donkey. Yeah. Wow, this will definitely earn an A. Uh, huh? Huh? Okay, let's do it. Camera, action. Hmm. No, what's going on? Fighting so unsightly, Jerry. I agree with her. Fighting is reserved for simpler minds. Then what would you rather do instead? Huh, I don't know. I could show off my beautiful gardening. Uh -huh. Hmm, I don't know if dinosaurs gardening will fly with my science team. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've got it! We'll show off our dance moves. Oh, splendid idea. I am quick on my feet. Oh. 
It's the most awesome project I'll ever turn in. The best in your whole entire class. Thanks. You guys are the best. Make sure you don't forget our best dino trick of all. <laughs> huh? Everybody in position? Go, go, Turbo Zords! Yeah, yeah, I'll get an A for sure. Millions of views online, awesome. There is just one small problem. If you show people this video, then they'll know who we are. Oh, you're right, we can't show it. But what now? Ah, easy. Peter can just draw all of our dinosaur antics. Yes, you're a genius. Yes, I am. <laughs> She's never gonna get it. Uh, nope, I knew she'd get it. Uh, He's uh, never gonna get it. Uh, but that's not fair! No flying allowed! Heads up! <laughs> Take your own advice. Look! Uh, what is that? A dandelion? Is that supposed to be an apple? This is not an apple. I saw it through my telescope and I took a picture of it. Do you think that's a... Uh... An enormous meteorite. I'm sure of it. And it's headed straight for Grandma's garden. And how do you know that? It looks like an apple. It's the shape of an apple and the size of an apple. So... So what? And where does Grandma grow the apples? In the garden. And that's where the meteor's heading. Today. <gasps> oh, but that's where Grandma keeps her prized pumpkin. And a meteorite could... <gasps> Grandma will be devastated if that happens. I say we won't let it. Where are we heading? To the rescue as fast as we can. Uh, does anyone actually have a plan? Well, of course I do. To bring down a meteorite, you need a slingshot. <laughs> no, not a great plan. Or perhaps we could lure the meteorite into a trap. The meteorite? It's just a rock. How do you plan to lure it? With cheese? Hmm. What if we could build the world's strongest and biggest fan? And blow the meteorite straight into... <laughs> that gives me an idea. Come on, let's go. I've got it. We need a racket. An enormous badminton racket. And then we'll catch the meteorite. Exactly. exactly. Look, here are the strings of our racket. We will stretch them across the entire garden, and then when the meteorite arrives, kapow! <laughs> and now to create our racket. Something. To the lake! Go, go, Turbozoid! So we're quickly digging up everything in the garden and moving it over here, and the meteorite will never know the difference. A brilliant idea. Hmm. What are you doing? Grandma will be back from the store any minute, and you've made a mess out of everything. Uh, well, it only appears to be a mess at first glance, but if you look a little bit closer... Put everything back where it was. Otherwise, my grandma will be very upset. Hmm. 
Now that is more like it. Let's hurry. We need to stretch out the racket. We must carry out Peter's plan because the meteorite could fly in any minute now. Go right, and then to the left. We're just about ready. Go check for the meteorite. <laughs> Not so fast, Peter. You need to clean the lens. Look, you have a dandelion feather in your way. Oh, the meteorite is gone. It seems the only thing I saw was a feather. <laughs> a meteorite's not coming for the garden? Oops. He's going to fall down. How can we catch him? Uh-huh. <gasps> Here, turn it for me. <laughs> to the right, to the left. Towards me! Towards me! Stop! Right there! <laughs> Here's our meteorite! aren't stupid, dear. In fact, they're one of the most useful medicinal plants we know of. That's so cool. There's more. Nettle plants can be used to make all sorts of delicious meals. There's soups, salads. Salad! Can we have nettle salad? Yes, we can have salad. I just have to go make it. While you wait, I suppose you can have some ice cream. Be sure you don't eat too much or you'll get sick. Yay! Maybe nettle plants can also be used in desserts. That could be good. <laughs> Don't forget what she said. We can only have a little bit, just a taste. And have you washed your hands? Yep. <laughs> Be sure you don't eat it too quickly. Mm. That can make you get sick, too. without them. <gasps> the poor deer's legs are completely frozen. Just look how blue they are. Huh? That's one leg, and two legs, and three legs, and four legs. That doesn't make sense. Hmm. That's one leg, that's two legs. Phew, I thought that I might be losing it. Try and get some more rest. Yeah. You're not looking so good. 
<sighs> so what you're saying is Jerry just ate way too much ice cream and now he's sick? Then the problem is that when Jerry is sick, he's not able to become a drone. <gasps> That's awful. What if our grandmother sees him? We better run home now. Go, go, Turbozors! <laughs> I've just had a realization. Being sick has its advantages and is actually quite nice. I think I'll stay sick for another week. What's this I hear about you being sick? Uh, it's true, my friend. I am terribly sick. <laughs> I can see that. I think our friend is in need of an ambulance. No problem. I'll take care of it. <laughs> Oh, what's going on? Where are you taking me? For millions of years, we dinosaurs have known about the medicinal properties of the common nettle plant. They can help with all sorts of diseases. I'm suddenly feeling better! No! You see? Look at that. You recovered immediately. You're right. I feel like myself again. At last, I found my glasses. <gasps> and now things should start looking normal again. <sighs> you know, it's not polite to laugh at a pterodactyl who's been sick. <laughs> Bush, we had three finger lame snort, and we find the big log. Should be it, right? Uh, whose finger length? Mine, one and a half of yours. <gasps> Sound good? Let's go. Go, go, Turbo Swords! Where's the thorny bush? Ah, found it! 
Now, one and a half fingers north. I saw a log! Up ahead! This is the place! Let's dig here! I found something! Yeah, thanks! With further instructions. Well, let's compare the two. Yes. So that's the way. Southwest. <gasps> Your idea? That's so great! We don't need a map, just our brains! Ahoy me! Yeah. All talents on deck! Whoa! Look! It's the island! That's awesome! Made it yesterday! Surprise! The treasure's somewhere on it! Yeah! Let's go! Couldn't find the treasure. Is that what I think it is? <laughs> yes, yes, yes! We found the treasure! Happy birthday! Hooray! Whoa! It's pirate costumes! <laughs> huh? Ahoy! What a fine looking dino crew! Where to, Captain? Adventure! And this sign means no stopping allowed. That's right, or else your car will get towed away. Where are the others? We were expecting everyone. They'll be here soon. It's not like them to forget. SOS! Huh? Something terrible's happened. Please help me! Jerry, what's going on? Deep breath, deep breath, deep breath! Huh? <laughs> Jerry, tell us what happened. And by the way, where is Joe? That's what I've been trying to get out! Uh, she was kidnapped! She went into the city and they took her! They took her away! I think I know what happened. She didn't know about the sign, and so they had to tow her away. Don't you worry, every problem has a solution. Jerry, lead the way! Go, go, Turbosaur! What about Chuck? A robot like him is sure to attract attention. Chuck's nothing to worry about. In the city, people are so busy that no one will notice him. You ready? Then let's go find our Joe. Now, where could she be? This situation calls for some eyes up in the sky. Jerry? I'm on the case! Oh, there you are. Welcome to your rescue. Jerry, they took me away. What are we going to do? Don't panic. 
Panic Joe. Superhero is my middle name. Have no fear, we're going to get you out of here! The coast is clear. Time to let Chuck out. Oof, oof, little crabs in here. <laughs> I found Joe. Shh, she's up on the second floor. Well, shucks, I can just break down the whole wall. Joe can escape through the hole, and then I can close it back up again, and no one will ever know. How will she get down from way up there? There aren't any stairs. It's impossible. Ugh. Nothing could be simpler. I think I've got it. We just have to build a slide that comes down from the second floor. Here, take a look. You're a genius. Chuck, go ahead and break the wall and that part of the roof. Unky, go wait inside so you don't get in the way. Thor, Bull, go gather some dirt so when he's done, we can make a smooth slide for Joe. And what should I do? Watch and make sure no one sees us. Somebody's coming! Again with the construction. Digging, digging. Will it never end? Is he gone? No, oh, I can breathe again. Are you ready? Yes. Slow, slow, faster, to the left. You got it. Okay, team, we need to restore the whole building and also flatten the slide. Let's go home. I just don't know what I would ever do without such friends. That's what friends are for, to help you out when you get in a jam. But next time, make sure that you follow this sign. What does it mean? Aye, aye, aye. I will now teach you the rules. Lucky those rules don't apply to me. <laughs> oh, oh. Who knows? Is someone gonna go find the ball? I can't. I'm busy being the best goalie. Women always get the job done. Uh, uh. Huh? Hey there, who are you? Toby, <laughs> here boy, come back! There's a human in the woods. He's coming. Turbozor team, hi! Good afternoon, <coughs> Mr. Charlie. Hello there, children. <coughs> Cars out here in the woods? That's odd. What are you kids up to out here? Just helping my sister learn soccer. Toby, here boy. Nothing to see here but a bunch of junk. <laughs> Don't 
talk back to me, boy. You're going to the vet today. And I don't want to hear any more sass from your opponent. Okay, all clear. <laughs> hey, what's so funny? The old man called Joe junk, but I think the dog kind of likes her. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm certainly not junk. How many Seropolis do you know who can turn into convertibles? While we're on the subject of being great, how impressed was the dog with my wingspan? Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Toby? He's gone. Gone? Chased after a motorcycle, it slipped his leash. I looked for him everywhere. But I guess he couldn't hear me call him. We've got to go bring Toby back. Of course we'll help get his dog back. We'll do whatever we can. Do you have any ideas, Thor? Well, downtown's a really big place. We should split up to increase our chances of finding this dog. Good plan. Go, go, Turbo Thors! Awful for the poor thing. All alone in the big city, he could be miles away. <gasps> could it be? That's him for sure. Must have fallen down somehow. Chuck, you'll be in charge of grabbing Toby. Onky, bring the pipe out of the ground. Chuck, you'll be in charge of grabbing Toby. As for Jones, we'll need those headlights to see what we're doing. Turbidors, move out. Everyone was given a job to do but me. I could have come up with a good plan, too. Be careful. Careful with those giant hands. <laughs> now there's something the history books won't tell you. Dogs love dinosaurs! <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a wild guess. Are Boris and Bruno teasing you again? Yeah, Aunt Nora bought them a brand new robot. It's all we've been hearing about. Wow, it's so 21st century. Yeah, he's totally cool. If only you two had one, we could play together. Of course, you would have to be able to handle modern technology. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it too. Let's just say it's not like you and me. That's right. That gives me an idea. Chuck, this calls for your special talent. Do you get my drift? Yes. Go, go, Turbosaurus! <laughs> <laughs> I am a robot. My name is Chuck. <laughs> 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 
You should be in the movies. <laughs> oh no, scary. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be afraid. He's not dangerous. I am a robot. You can call me Chuck. Wow, this one talks. Of course he can talk. He's state of the art. The latest model. He was a gift from our grandmother. For good behavior. He can do all sorts of stuff. Look, check this out. He is great at dancing. That's amazing. He does exercises too. And he can pick stuff up. Hey, want him to pick you up? No need to worry. I can control it. <laughs> Let me see that. You don't control it. This is for your toy car. <laughs> then that means it's moving by itself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's coming! The oh, scary robot's after us! Running from this robot, the other one was huge, ferocious. Roar! I knew all these toys would be a problem. You two just bye bye bye. But Aunt Nora, a giant robot chased us. We saw. Yeah. <laughs> oh my boys, such <sighs> fantasies. But it really happened. All right then, I'll ask Katie and Peter. A big scary robot. No, we didn't see a big scary robot. Did you see one? No, we haven't seen it. <laughs> you see? No big scary robot. My name is Chuck. <laughs> and now, we just need to put all this dirt back to make sure that no one trips and falls. Bull just fell asleep. Thor and Chuck are on the job, though. I'm a robot. My name is Chuck. Midfield cover. He sends the ball to Chuck. Chuck roots. And the goalie sends it off the field. Guess that's the end of the match. Too bad. That was our best game yet. 
Let's go look for the ball. We'll find it and keep playing. Huh? See it. Let's get it. It's over here. Huh? Huh? Ah. Huh? Ah. Hmm. They're just adorable. Huh? They sure are. But we can't play soccer with a hedgehog. Let's keep looking for the ball. Wait a sec. What if... <gasps> what if it rains? The river will flood and they'll be washed away. Oh, We have to do something. We should go ask Katie. She's an expert on nature. Wait here. I'll go get her. your help. There's this hedgehog family with babies. Their home is in danger. That's horrible. Can you show us where to find them? If it rains, the river will flood and wash away their nest. I got it. Let's move their nest away from the river. Their home is here. We can't just move them. I have an idea. Since we can't move their nest, we'll move the river instead. How would we do that? Easy. We can just build a dam and reroute the river. Go, go, Turbozors! Thor, you dig a channel right here. Chuck, go collect Dad's trees from the forest. We'll be needing them for the dam. Check. To you, the hedgehog nest is safe. Now we can work on finding the ball. So how did you lose it? A giant kick. Without it, we can't finish our game. I think I can help with that. Ha, 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 ha,